Hello, this is a very basic tutorial for QGIS version 3.1. I'm going to show you how to show a map, how to show Google Maps and how to search for certain spots. When you start QGIS, you get presented with kind of this screen. Uh, if you use Windows, you might have your drives listed here on the left side. And in this situation, the first thing you want to do is project new and then you have a new project, which doesn't really help you because you just have a white screen. So what you do next is you go web. And so quick map services, OSM, OSM standard. And now you have the open street view map. And let's go to somewhere in Europe. I don't know. Let's go to Hamburg, for example. And let's say now you want to add a Google Maps satellite view. Then the first thing uh, what you can do is you have this, this browser here on the left. If for whatever reason the browser is not shown, you can go to view and go panels and say browser. Then you will find XYZ tiles and you will click that and you will, you see this, you will not see this one. This is what I added. You will see this one, Google satellite, and you will add that, for example, in this way, just drag and drop it here and you will figure out if you're unlucky like me, it will have no effect. By the way, the, the thing that you, the, re, the fact that you added it here uh, is reflected here in the layers panel. We can remove that again, right click and remove layer. So that doesn't work. So what we have to do is we go to X, Y, Z tiles and we say new connection and we give it a name, for example, Google Maps and we paste in this URL. I will add this to the video description and then we just say, OK, can you actually see the OK button? We will say OK. And now you have the new Google Maps and now you can drag and drop this again and you will have your Google Maps. If you want to activate or deactivate it, just go into your layers and activate or deactivate. By the way, if for whatever reason the layers is not present, just go to view. Oh, you can't see that, I guess. Uh, pretty much down is the panels and then you have here layers. Now you can play around a little bit. You can right click and I think it's also out of the picture. You can say properties in the bottom and then you get something like this. And then you have transparency, for example. And let's say we do the put the transparency on to 55 and say apply and then you see we have a transparency of 55 we can even make it less say apply again and so you have a little bit of transparent layer we can also add google maps again so now we have a transparent google maps and a non-transparent google maps whatever you like but we can also remove this again remove layer okay okay this is the basic functionality if you want to know where you are you find this information here and the, I think it's called the coordinate system, I'm not sure, is shown here in the bottom right. Okay, that being said, when you want to search specific spots, then I advise you to install this plugin, Quick OSM. What you do is you go to plugins, manage and install plugins, then this thing happens, opens and you search for Quick OSM. And in my case, it's already installed, but you will search for Quick OSM and you will click it and then you will have an install button here. You install it and then what you will have is you will have this small icon here. Now we can click that and a new window opens. This might look very different depending on the version you're using. Let's imagine you want to you, you want to wor work with water for whatever reasons. So you want to search for everything that has to do with water. What you can do is you can search for waterway, the key waterway. Value could be something like a river or aware whatever you like to search for but you can leave this free so it will give you everything you can search in a specific location but we just say canvas extend that means it will search around this area and then let's go down a little bit more and we run the query and it will take a little bit of time when it's finished you oh did you see that there was something in the top that said three layers were added we can close this now and we see three layers were added let's remove them step by step so you saw that something was moving. I don't see, uh, here's something moving. I hope you see the map. Here's something moving and here's something moving. All these spots mark certain things. I don't know exactly what these are. So let's uh, check this out. I think so this one will give us where the water actually flows, right? If you say, oh my God, I can't, I can't really see that. You just go right click and say properties. And then in the symbology, I don't know, tab, is this a tab? You can just define the width. Let's make this a little bit smaller and then you can say apply and we have 
much bigger ways. Let's make this a little bit more blue. Not too important. Maybe a little bit of opacity gone and then we see our waterways like this. Important when you set the size, the width, the width will always stay the same. The width will always stay, for example, 10 pixels, no matter if you zoom out like crazy or if you zoom in like crazy. Okay, that being said, okay, I had to adjust this. It was like unusable. Okay, now we have uh, many different uh, parts of rivers here. And these are actually different objects. And what we can do now is we can go right click and say open attribute table. And this will open an attribute table. And this will show us all of these objects like they have. Yeah, it's like a database of all these objects. And you can see that we have, for example, streams, we have drains, we have ditches, and we also have weirs. And if you remember where I typed weir in the search panel, this is exactly what it was searched for. What I do for this video is I'm going to click this icon here. You have to get used to these icons and then it will dock this very thing. And now we can have a double view. We can now do is we can click these and let's zoom out a little bit. And it should actually highlight stuff for us. Do we get some highlights? Okay, here I found one. Okay, you see there's a lot of small water pipes, I don't know, pipes, whatever this is, ditches, water ditches. And you see when I click them, they will highlight. So it will show me which one is which. And let's make this a little bit bigger. We can find out also uh, more information about all that stuff. For example, we have this one. Okay, no, change my mind. Let's go for weirs. We have weirs, we search for weirs. And now we want to have, we want to find out where these weirs are. Of course, we could like search uh, by the eye. This will take a lot of time. So we just go right click. Right click. Ah, okay, we have to right click here in the blue area and we go zoom to feature. And then we are inside this feature. And it will show us where this specific spot is located. Okay, I made the lines a little bit bigger like this. And now let's take a look again on Google Maps, how this looks on Google Maps. Hmm, we can't see it so nicely. So let's add another Google Maps layer, maybe here in the bottom. Check this out. If we put the Google Maps layer on top, then it will cover the waterway. So we have to move it down. We don't need this one. And then we can see this is how this area looks in Google Maps. Okay, I think so far this is the basic usage of QGIS. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions, write the comments.